What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. I uh, just wanted to, you know, give you guys a quick lay of the land in the cave and some small tweaks I have done since the last major statue display update. This is not a statue display update per se, but we did make a few tweaks. Uh, so, and I wanted to advise of potential tweaks. So I am extremely happy with how this turned out. Uh, I like this, although I won't deny, I don't want, you know, I do want the one third pumpkin head. I just worry <clears throat> it won't look good down low. You know, the pose lunging forward, it's almost similar to XM Alien. I mean, the head is, I guess, kind of straight, you know, but if I was to get it, we'd have to basically put it right here angled like this and have the arm probably coming out similar to XM Alien. And then you'd do Candyman there. So that's kind of how I would do it. And then obviously Chucky would have to return there. Chucky obviously looks much better here because I'm able to spread it out. It looks really clean over there. It still looks good, but not as good. So I'm still trying to decide if I do want that pumpkin head. I want to kind of see some in hands. I mean, it's only a few inches taller than this one technically in terms of like overall height, but obviously it's much bigger being one third. I do really like this one. It was much cheaper. It looks great. It looks good down low. The pose, the concept and the details, fantastic. I don't think the one third would improve on like the paint and sculpt. The only, th I do like the base better on the one third. I think I prefer this pose. Uh, I think the biggest thing the one third offers is the fact that it's one third with a better base. The one third would look much better up high, but I can't really break my up high display because it's freaking flawless. I don't want to break up any of that because that's just perfect. This all looks amazing. So I don't really have a way of displaying it up high. So if we're going to do one third pumpkin, it's going to have to go here. Now here on the TV display, we did actually move Fawn Bust over here. Now I was thinking for a moment of potentially getting the species statue, which I do like it and all. I do think it's overpriced, but ultimately I think I prefer just to get the Hellboy 2 Ape Sapien bust. The bust fits down low. And the cool thing is that I actually learned as the actor who played Ape Sapien also played Pale Man and Fawn. So I'd have three life-size busts of the exact same actor, which I think is really cool. So, you know, of course, up top you do right here, Hellboy one-third, Hellboy bust, Ape Sapien one-third, and then his bust directly underneath. So it's like a little l shape for that display. And I found the perfect poster to go ahead and, you know, put a poster up right there. Then, of course, Blade will come down here with Celine Underworld. Now, I'm still kind of like... I don't know if we're going to get that Celine one-third. Like, we have not seen a single update. They've been very quiet. I mean, it's possible they'd... You know, Kate Beckinsale didn't sign off on it because maybe the likeness sucked or she wasn't a fan. I don't know. But I'm kind of like, man, we may not get that. And if we don't get it, what I'd probably do is change this to a 60-inch shelf and change that to a 48-inch shelf because, you know, the wider shelf would allow better visibility for Fawn Bust. And I would just, you know, just have Blade this. Pants Labyrinth, Hellboy, so forth. I just wouldn't have, or I just spread everything out. I wouldn't get any additional statues. So, you know, and, you know, keep in mind, these two are for sale. Hit me up if you are interested. Uh, also, Neo, I uh, am putting this up for sale. Uh, hit me up if you're interested. $300 plus shipping. Uh, and the reason Neo is for sale is because, you know, I decided to put uh, Link over here. So, you know, I really do want a Link just because, I mean, me, Zelda is one of the most nostalgic video games of all time for me. You know, as a little kid, I remember playing Ocarina of Time with my brothers when it first came out. And it's just so iconic, you know, so I have to keep that statue. It, it's way too good. And so we threw Link here with the Majora's Mask, the two busts right there, the Ocarina. And I think that looks pretty good. And I think this is the best spot for Link because it's near DBZ, which is like very colorful, cartoony looking statues. And so the transition is a little bit better. Like if you were to put Link like over here or here, it wouldn't look quite as good. 
but I think this transition flows pretty darn good. And I don't plan to sell any of these unless we get a Prime 1 Laura. Laura. Uh, the only thing I may potentially sell is MK. I've had a few people hit me up on MK, but they only want like one or two statues. One wanted four, but they were re wanting a really good discount, which I'm not doing. I still absolutely love my Mortal Kombat display. Like, I really do. I love all these statues. I know some of them are like, you know, kind of outdated, but I still love them. You know, and I really like having like a Shao Kahn, Scorpion and Sub-Zero from MKX, you know, Motaro. So I'm not sure if I want to sell this display. It kind of depends on, you know, Prime 1 and what video game statues they'll be making. We have obviously the Prime 1 event. And as far as I have heard, we're not getting a one-fourth God of War diorama. We're getting a one-third Thor from Ragnarok. No confirmation of Kratos, just Thor. It'd be wild if they didn't do Kratos. If they do Kratos, I think I would be interested. Although I'd probably have to move my entire God of War display over here and do one-third Kratos there, then the bus, then the Dio, and do that on top of the white shelf. <clears throat> that is the one way I'd have to do it. Now at that point, I'd probably just do Clicker there and Alita here, you know, if we're doing that. So we'll see what happens with that event. Uh, I had the opportunity to buy the Devastator Demon Soul statue, but I passed. I'm like, that's not worth it. That I don't even remember that boss. It wasn't memorable. The game is good, but not great. I don't need a statue from it. You know, Bloodborne, for me, was a very special Souls game. It was my first Souls game. I really enjoyed it. And then Elden Ring, those, for me, are the two best Soul games. And so those are the ones I would want. So... Yeah. Uh, and let me just verify. Uh, yeah, there's nothing now. I put that link there for now. Uh, it's not the greatest, but it still allows me to keep it. You know, not the best, but I do need to move this link, you know, Sword and Shield right here. Eventually throw like a Grimlock poster here and... I could technically do G.I. Joe, or I could just wait for the new Transformers movie and Transformers X G.I. Joe and put that up there. So, yeah, no new updates in that room. That rooms were pretty much, <clears throat> you know, I think we're pretty much good there. And here we're just waiting on the Iron Man bus. That's kind of it. So, yeah. Uh, but that is kind of what I wanted to, you know, show you guys real quickly, but... Yeah, we're getting the full Hellboy line from ECC. You know, that is of crucial importance to me. And then potentially Pumpkinhead one-third. We do have the T-1000 liquid chrome, fully paid in full. You know, same with Arnold, paid in full. And then Endoskeleton and the two Blitzway Arnold and T-1000s coming. So very excited for the entire Terminator line. We'll have all of that probably within the year. <clears throat> probably be some of the final statues we get. Uh, Hellboy one third hasn't even gone up for PO, which is pretty annoying because the all the Abe Sapien and Hellboy bus is set to ship in the next few months, but we don't have the Hellboy one third up for PO. Although ECC is very quick with production, so we'll probably get that, you know, within six months after you know they do pre-order. So I'll pre-order that one day one, you know, because we already got the bust. And technically, Abe Sapien, I'm waitlisted, but usually my waitlist convert with them. So as soon as the waitlist converts, I'll buy them both. There's alternative backups I also have. Anyways, folks, that is it. Let me know what you guys think. If you are interested in these two statues or Neo, do contact me and we can work out. Uh, if you need a payment plan, we can do that. You know, and uh, like I said, Neo, 300 plus shipping, those two. Just throw me an offer. We'll work something out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.